Coal started declining in 2008 as cheaper and cleaner forms of energy became more available. And since then, we have seen significant waves of bankruptcies in the industry. And uh, Ms. Kendall, when a coal company goes bankrupt, can you briefly explain what happens to worker pay and benefits? I'm gonna get it next time. Um, you know, part of the answer is probably it depends on the company and the particular circumstances, but in general, workers are very vulnerable. I mean, we've had members who are former coal miners who have lost their jobs overnight, lost their paycheck overnight, and so, and lost their retirement benefits as well. So when these coal companies go bankrupt, they shed their liabilities for health care and pensions. They no longer have to cover workers' health care, workers' pensions. If a new company, like Met Coal, buys that previous bankrupt company's assets, the contract will, almost without a doubt, be worse for those workers as well. And in addition to those workers forfeiting pension, health care, and other employee benefits through bankruptcy, reclamation also becomes a significant issue. And we see some photos right up here of some of the uh, environmental damage that happens with some of these mines. But those companies are supposed to be responsible for reclamation mm -hmm. uh, responsibilities here. Um, can you speak to some of the environmental and public health impacts on coal country communities in these instances? Mm -hmm. Well, we are members, you know, many of our members are ranchers in coal country and they have experienced groundwater depletion and surface water depletion. I think for folks who are familiar with ranching, you know how important water sources are and especially natural springs and watering holes. And so to lose those due to coal mining in an area is a huge concern. And the general experience of our members has been that those resources are not replaced. So that means they have to haul water at great expense. It takes a great deal of time. Um, we're extremely concerned about reclamation delays in our area. Um, just 17% of the mined lands in, reclamation in Wyoming and 20% in Montana have been completely reclaimed over decades. And it's a very big concern that the reclamation bonds that are in place are not sufficient to ensure that reclamation occurs. So it's a big concern when bankruptcy is a prospect. 